Alrighty. For the last few questions that I have, Nisa loves Taman. Is that right? Yes, I did have to pay for my air flight ticket. And in the contract, it said that I would pay for it and I would be refunded within 30 days. My school actually paid me in like two weeks. It all depends on your school. I know some of my friends who their school paid for their ticket um, before they got there. Now, when I left Korea, my school actually paid for my ticket before I left. And some, they, in the contract it said they would refund it once I got home, but they actually paid for it before I left for me. But it depends on your school. It just depends on how they do things. But um, whatever y'all set up, make sure it is in writing and you have a copy. Keep a copy of everything. And I didn't have to pay rent. The school paid the rent for me. I paid electricity and gas and water. Wait, something like that. I think I had like three bills plus my cell phone. But I actually, I think I go through that in a video. If you one of my previous videos, I, I think I went through that. But yeah, um, I didn't have to pay rent. And you asked me about my friend, whether my friend was African American or Korean. I didn't get to go through the video. Can you remind me what I said about my friend? If you can just remind me what I said, then I can tell you what they were. Um... Them ISC files. Yes, ma'am. You need, or I don't actually know if you're a ma'am or so, I'm sorry. Yes, you need a passport and a visa to teach in any other country as far as I know. And the process for paying your bills and all that, I actually do, excuse me, I've done a video about the whole banking. Um, so you may want to check that out. But, I mean, it's pretty simple. You take your wand to the bank. They'll convert it into U.S. dollars. They'll wire it over. Um, usually within, a, I would say within three days, your money will get over there. You need to have every piece of information to the person you're sending it to. So the name, whether it's a bank or an individual, uh, the address, phone number, um, there's some number or something that you'll need but my best suggestion is to go to your bank wherever you bank I don't know where you bank Wells Fargo Bank of America wherever you bank go to go into a branch branch let them know that you're planning to move overseas and you need to know what do they offer to people who will be living internationally different banks have different processes some banks make it so much easier for you to um, do business overseas so you definitely want to go in take notes make sure you get all the information ask them you know if I'm getting money wired um, what all will I need what is all the information some banks you have to have like a little number um, ask them if they have any benefits for you moving internationally ask them about you know just the different options they have because different banks have different options I didn't know that <laughs> until I was already in Korea don't ask me why it was such a quick move I do that I make a lot of quick moves I'm noticing um, yeah so hopefully that answers your question T-E-H-A-M-B-U-L-I girl Yes, it was easy to handle um, my fin financial stuff from Korea. I was blessed to have my mom. For me, I gave my mom, um, I made her a joint person on my bank account. My mom helped me with all my financial stuff. So it was easy just to send money to her and say, can you, hey, can you do this, can you do this? But even for you to do it yourself is easy, especially if it's online. Um, wiring money is easy. Another thing, you guys, my suggestion is when you go to uh, do your banking and your wiring in Korea, 
they'll give you a copy of your paperwork keep that paperwork and every time you go to wire money take that paperwork it makes it so much easier just a suggestion um is that the last one that's the last one Whew. 327 a.m in arkansas I hope I answered everybody's questions. I hope I answered them successfully. I hope I you got the information that you needed. If for some reason you didn't, don't hesitate. No matter what I say, just don't don't hesitate to contact me on here and I'll try to do a better job. Be as specific as you can and I'll be as specific as I can. Um I oh I don't have a Facebook anymore. I have shut down my Facebook and my Twitter for personal reasons, <laughs> but I will eventually have another one for, you know, what I told y'all I'm working on. Uh, so I know a lot of people, I've had quite a few people who want to contact me and talk. You can email me. I also have Skype. So you can email me or Skype me. And um, I have a couple people that I still haven't been able to make that Skype meeting with, but I will be trying to do that this weekend or this week sometime. No, not this weekend because we're going to be busy on Saturday. My cousin's having some kind of going away party from somebody. So I'm not going to be available to Skype with you guys. But, yeah, I will definitely be doing Skype dates and um, emails and all that good stuff. trying to think i just don't want to forget anything thank you again for subscribing thank you all for taking the time to look through my videos to um take in the information thank you for all of your kind words thank you for all the compliments thank you for all the all the encouragement is freaking awesome um thank you for telling your friends about my page um even though Korea is a closed chapter to me and I won't be spending as much time on this page, I still want to dedicate some time to it and, you know, don't take it personal if I don't respond quickly. I will respond, just not as quick, not as quickly. Um, it was a good chapter. Thankful for it. I'm definitely thankful for it. And, um, but definitely, I want to focus on my new project and the advancement of black women all around the world. That's my purpose, and that's what I want to focus on. Um, but I'm definitely excited about what the future holds for me. I'm excited about what the future holds for you. I'm really excited to see all these people who are deciding to move across the world I don't know I just really thought about these two things so hopefully I don't forget one of them I have to say this um, especially to the black people who are on my page or who cross my page it is really really important for us to make the most of every single opportunity I'm loving that so many black people are deciding to move to other countries get out of their comfort zone um, consider new options I love it and we really should and not just you know teaching overseas but I mean with anything you know every group has a stereotype and I just think we're so much more than the world may view us as and and so we need more people going overseas to teach and to um, be involved with the government we need more people black people in um, the sciences and the medical fields and just I really encourage you to try new things move out of your comfort zone get out of it because <laughs> That is the most boring place you can be, and you're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to fulfill your purpose, and you will forever be empty. So move out of your comfort zone and realize your true potential. And for those of you who are already doing it, 
my hats off to you if you are um, struggling and you know, definitely I always say pray about it but you know if you got to pull out a piece of paper and put pros and cons and see <laughs> which one comes out you know uh, greater do something you know what do something that's the biggest thing do something don't be the type of person who's always talking about what they want to just dream it actually do something that's for everybody do something take a step if you take one small step that one small step is going to lead to another one and eventually it's going to lead to greater steps and if you're watching this video you have more potential than you even understand but it doesn't matter if you're going to be too scared to take some risk, to be uncomfortable, or to um, learn something different. You know? So take some steps. And I told y'all I would forget the other thing. Oh, what was the other thing? I don't know. Please, when y'all go to these other countries, represent Americans well. That's not one of the things, but I, I, <laughs> please represent us well. Um, go for the right reason. Whatever you choose to do in life, do it for the right reason. Do it for pure reasons. Don't do it for selfish or hateful or vengeful reasons. You know, do whatever you do. Do it for the right reason. Don't do it for your family. Don't do it for your friends. Don't do it for your man or your girl. Do it for you and to fulfill a greater purpose. My cousin and I just put this desk and this cabinet and this bookcase together. I don't know why y'all needed to know that. I'm just really happy because I was about to throw it out the window earlier. Okay, I think that's it. No more rambling. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, I need to go do something with my hair. Um, and shower and go to bed. I have been natural for like six months now and I must tell you guys I love love being natural I did have to throw that in there so to end off this video I love quotes and scriptures so I want to leave you guys with a quote that I really love and it's very simple and it's by Les Brown you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. And on that note, be blessed and have a wonderful journey. See you soon. Bye.